Well, just what is required to build a chuck wagon box or a common farm wagon box? That's what we're going to go through this week, kind of work out a material list of what's required. Well, we have had a few inquiries this week about the high water and some of the flooding in this area. Some of the pasture land around us is underwater and the creek is looking pretty high. This is just south of town. But all in all, we're pretty safe here in town. There's been no problem. They have been keeping the debris out of the creek, so it's been flowing well. Well, when it comes to farm wagon boxes and chuck wagon boxes, and they're both really interchangeable, the standard length is 10 and a half feet. But when it comes to the box side widths, they can vary from 12 inches up to 16 inches. This wagon that we're gonna build here is gonna be in that 14 to 15 inch range. I've got some iron work that I'm going to adapt to it, so I will modify some of that iron and we'll find out what that exact measurement is going to be in the end. But when we go to the lumber yard, oftentimes it's difficult to find 14, 16, 18 inch wide boards. So in this case, we're going to have to laminate some boards together to get this 15 to 16 inch width that we require. Now the lumber I use generally comes S2S, which means it's surface two sides. You can purchase S3S and one side will be straight lined, but in this case I'm going to have to do my own straight lining so I can join these together.
Well, a number of years ago, I rebuilt an international farm wagon, very similar to the one that I'm going to build here shortly. Well, there was this Jim Zaccaro in California that watched that episode, and he rebuilds and remodels some old homes and recognized that flooring that I used in that wagon as very similar to the flooring in old homes. And in fact, it is the same. It is a tongue and groove, dug fur flooring, and Jim brought up enough so that I could do this wagon box, and that's what I'm going to use for this. It's old original, three and a quarter, dug fur flooring, ideal for this wagon box. So the flooring in this is going to be dug fir. The side panels are yellow poplar, but underneath there is some framework that needs to be a hardwood. I'm going to use white ash because that's what I have a lot of. They are inch and a half thick by three and a half inches wide, and I need four of these to go underneath this box.
Well, to hold the front and rear panels, there also needs to be some cleats on the inside of these side panels. So I'm going to make a few cleats for that purpose. Well, I laminated enough poplar for two end gates. Kind of had this normal farm wagon box in my mind, not realizing that this is a chuck wagon box. I only need a front panel, but I've got two glued up, so I guess I have an extra. So for a material list, it's going to be whatever box width you're going to have. Generally, they are 38s or 42s. The box side widths will be from 12 inches to 16, most commonly, and 10 and a half feet long. There'll be some cleat work that needs to be inside these side panels, and there'll be some framework that'll go underneath for the center braces, rear brace, and front brace. So this is pretty simple box list, material list, for the box wagon that we're going to use for this chuck wagon. Next week, we're going to get into doing some assembly work. Once again, Thanks for watching.